This is mildly interesting. How interesting is it? Mildly. Well, yes. Apparently enough for MK to make a video about it. <clears throat> Which, as far as I've seen, MK is not afraid to make videos about, well, anything. Let me... Dude, they made a video, uh, I think it was in a, for a subreddit that I think only has like 1,000 followers. Just to try and get more attention on it. And it kind of worked because the followers on that subreddit went from like 1,000 to like 4,000 in a day. Yep. <clears throat> Pretty interesting. <clears throat> also, if you hear me being raspy, yeah, just know that I'm still, I, I sinus drainage is still kicking my ass. I hate this. I hate this season so much. I've got something like it going on myself. <clears throat> but yeah, that's what I got going on. And also, it's just, it's just been a weird, weird week. I mean, yesterday we tried to record, and then after we recorded our first thing, I looked over and I realized, oh shit, the audio's not running. Much like I'm looking over right now and I'm realizing that the audio is in fact running. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to worry about that this time. <sighs> Almost always double check it now because it's happened so many times and the one time I didn't double check it, guess what? It was fucking not running. Yep, exactly. So this is this is the game that we play. And you know what we're playing right now? We're playing some MK videos. Well, specifically just one MK video. This one was requested on our Discord. This one is mildly interesting. How does this happen? Let's uh, check it out, shall we? Sure. Let's go. Dropped my headphones at the beach and it pulled iron out of the sand. Well, there is a little magnet in there, is yeah. there not? Something, mm -hmm. you know, a little... Uh, yes, there's plenty of iron in the sand. That is cool. This one dude yeah. in the crowd in a neon shirt. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> there's nothing... Like, honestly, if you want to stand out, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> That's <clears throat> awesome, though. Totally didn't see that one coming. Or he did, and he's a genius. The corrosion on this water tap looks like a map. Okay, this I I have. Wow. Yes, it does. Dude, that needs to be like preserved and like shown as an art piece, because for that to happen naturally is amazing. Look at that. It does look like a map. It looks like an old forest, like an yeah. old forester map it's even from got, like, like back in the eighteen hundreds and stuff drawn in places. Yeah. Yeah, and like little inclines and stuff like that. And this can be, uh, dude, this looks like cliff, like a cliff face. Like that right there, that looks like a cliff face. That's awesome. Save that, man. Seen this one before as Easy well. Easy <clears throat> for Dungeons and Dragons maps. Oh, hell. You know. <laughs> yeah. And I still, I have no idea how it looked this perfectly cool. Yeah, this looks like I'm looking at the top of Montana or something like that. How? Kind of. These three random men in my photo look like the same person. They absolutely do. I. That is, yeah. that is middle-aged dad energy right there. That is, that that's like dad at 25 years working the same job, nine to five. And he just so happened to multiply three times or multiply twice. But yeah, this is this is just the hair, <coughs> the face. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if these three were almost twins. looks like AI or, or triplets. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't be surprised if these three were triplets in real life. Or if it's just an AI picture. Maybe that's a, that's the other thing too. You can't be sure of nowadays mm -hmm. with the internet. It's like, is it AI? We don't know. It's like, uh, have you seen the dude kicking the alligator in the face? Yes. Uh, like, that's the uh, one that I, when I originally saw it, I was like, is that real? Or is that AI? And I finally found out for sure yesterday because there, people are starting to talk about it more. It's AI. I saw, a, like, a sequel picture to it. It was him, like, playing, like, him playing, like, uh, chess with it. Uh, it was, like, a sequel picture. Well, there are prequel pictures to it that confirmed that it was originally AI because when it came out, it had, like, a story to it because the alligator stole his pizza that he was sitting in the swamp eating, and he kicked it in the face. 
Dude, these Florida people. I heard somebody call out. him uh, Gumbo Slice. The <laughs> was just like, yep, that's accurate. I like that. Gumbo Slice. He's he like, I'm going to go out there and kick alligator in the motherfucking face. It's like, why you Not today, a- Gator. It's like, it's like, why you kick alligator in the face? Motherfucker stole my pizza. It's like, oh shit, what kind of pizza was it? A Pepperoni. Su- it was a Supreme. <laughs> I can easily tell they're not. You know, the first two look a lot more similar than the guy in the back, but uh, kind of, yeah. <laughs> my black cat. The guy in the back like kind of looks like George Bush. My fe- more Hold similar on. than the guy. My fellow Americans, I'm do tired. Not, I'm, I'm tired. That's bus. why I'm sleeping on this bus. Yes, I realize I'm a former president and I could very easily be assassinated, but I don't care. Sleep is important. I'm out of energy and fucks to give after and ta- and ta- after dealing with the axis of evil. As also not only that, but tacos rule. In the back, but uh, <laughs> my black cat looks like my white cat's shadow. <laughs> Are you sure? That you have- <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah, they're posed almost exactly the same. That looks amazing. Even the hump. Even I would have, the, yeah, I would have thought it was just the one cat. Yeah, even the little hump back there. A black cat, is that not just a shadow? I got a warning for leaving my laptop unattended in the library. That's a bad thing to do. Do not yeah, do, that do that. Because if you at least close it so that it auto locks and it makes it more difficult for them to like get into it and steal your information. Mm-hmm. But if you leave it wide open, unattended at the library, you're screwed. If we had time to leave this card, a thief had time to remove your belongings. That's actually quite not. Do you not have a password set up on your laptop? Anything like that? Look, I trust people enough to leave my things unattended while I go pee real quick or something like that. I don't. You shouldn't. I don't. Even with some of my friends who I know they won't steal it, but they're going to do some chicanery to it. For instance, (laughs) I left my phone unattended when my little sisters came over and... I open my phone up and I go into my phone fo- and yeah, I was like going into my photos to like look for something a friend of mine asked me about. There were like 60 selfies on there of them like doing duck faces and flipping me off and everything. I'm like, you little bitches. Yeah, you little bitches. I'm going to get you back for that. And I did. I did. I gave them an Airy card to like Airy, the like American Eagle store that's for like, for like young girls, like, you know, teens and early 20s. I gave them uh, a card to that, said it was $50. It was only $1. But then I came back later and gave them the other $49. For, for I gave them another card for Airy for $49. Imagine if you came back to the desk and it was just this card sitting at your desk, not your laptop. <laughs> but like, shit. They're right. Yeah, I'd be like... <laughs> they were right. <laughs> like, well, fuck. <laughs> But I'm going to lock them. <laughs> yeah, I lock no mine. No shot am I going to leave them open and completely vulnerable. Exactly. My phone case blends in. I've actually in had with... stuff straight up stolen before by God knows who. Like, so, Oh, I know who mine was stolen by. My PlayStation 3, my Xbox 360, and two of my cameras. And, uh, and I, forget, I think it was like 12 to 14 games between the two consoles were stolen by this kid named Adam Atari. I'm not joking. Yes, his last name was Atari. So, yes, Atari did steal my Sony PlayStation and my Microsoft Xbox 360. Thank you very much for that, Atari. But he wound up going down for grand larceny and serving a long time in prison. Not just for me. He stole my shit, but he also stole a bunch of other people's <coughs> shit, and he got busted bad. This I used to have a digital camera. Somebody else has it now. Yeah, I had two Sony Handycams that had a bunch of memories and stuff on it from, like, my nephew's first few years. And then just came home, and they were gone. It's like, well, fuck. What, I, like, like, I can't, I couldn't believe I got ripped off like that. I sometimes wonder if whoever stole the camera found the video of my stupid friends drinking mustard straight out of the fridge on it and laughed their ass off, though. Imagine you finding that video on YouTube years later. Like, like down the line, and you like, be like, stupid guys drink mustard. And all of a sudden, you click on it, it's like... Not just here, Andrew, mustard, even better. Yeah. <laughs> just, you're just like... That part was stuck in like, my head. holy shit! Wait, who uploaded this? 
you sons of bitches, return my camera at once. Exactly. That's the first comment, that, and, the, and the video has no views on it. Yeah. You're the first one to view it, and you're the first one to be like, you motherfuckers, give me back my camera. You stole this. Like, this video was on that camera, and you assholes uploaded it. Give it back. <coughs> Videos from, like, from how long ago was it stolen? Like, ten years ago? A long time ago. Yeah, vid- videos, like, posted seven years ago. Yeah, it was more than ten years ago, probably. School library circulation desk. Oh, oh my god, it really is. Holy does. crap, that's that close. Not what I was expecting to see. Wait. That's a good way to accidentally be like, where'd my phone go? Yeah. See, I, I don't know what it was I was expecting, but it wasn't something quite this perfect. Is this just, you know, that wood grain pattern that's not actually part of the wood and instead it's just textured or painted on or something? Is that what we're looking at now? Not on the phone, on the table. The sun hit this freshly paved tarmac just right and made a real life rainbow road through polarized lenses. <laughs> you don't want to no. drive down. Whoa! On that road, not until you're ready, okay? That's where boys become men and girls become women. The Rainbow Road. I built a miniature That's where a lot of people out fall of off. That's where a lot of people, like, start to hate Mario Kart. Ads I got in the mail. I know. Okay, I love but that's those. freaking great, though. I don't know Dude. what the practical purpose would be, but that's just an adorable little art project. <laughs> <laughs> <Going on. laughs> that's My awesome. husband's fully reflective iridescent rain set. All right. Oh, it's one of those. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yes. I, I, dude, I want one of those. Like, Rainbow Man. I just like run after people. Just like, just. Like, I'm definitely not going to get run over in the dark with that on. Hell no. I feel like a lot of celebrities <coughs> should Unless be wearing Unless somebody meant to run you over. Oh, then, yeah. Be like, holy shit, it's Rainbow Man. I, I believe you have probable cause in court to be like, look, if this is what I was wearing. Please turn off the courtroom lights and shine a flashlight at me. And then, like, they'd see that and be like, I believe this is 100% obvious that this man hit me on purpose <laughs> so, you know you're up there your arms in a cast your legs up you're in a wheelchair and you're just like this is the outfit that i was wearing when i was hit please shut please turn the lights off and shine a flashlight on me mm. yeah that yeah you really think he didn't see me mm. i call bullshit your honor <laughs> i find you in contempt but you are correct <laughs> You know, once that flash hits, whoop, boom! Your photo is worthless. <laughs> As we all know, screwing with the paparazzi should absolutely be priority number one. Yes, fuck the paparazzi. Mm -hmm. Specifically, fuck you, Harvey Levin. If we have to deal with them, that is. I found the cliff this cliff bar came from. Did you really? D oh, you did. Holy is crap! Actually, the Yo. is it? Dude, good find. Is that accurate or does it just match really well? Because the cliff bar cliff is pretty now. Well, okay. No, no, the background matches. Yeah. See, if it were just the foreground, I'd say it's something. But where it's the background too, yeah, that's pretty damn accurate. Okay, I guess you're right. I forgot about. Part the of me is kind of like move the cliff bar and let me see for sure. But I don't know. I'm willing to believe them for some reason. Change in the back. All right, you win this round. You want to know how you can win the next round? By heading over to mkshop.com and checking out our merch. Make sure you use code BOOBIN at checkout for free shipping, though. My neighbor's house encased in ice after the recent blizzard in Ohio on shore of Lake Erie. Oh, this is going to be great. <laughs> oh! Oh! That is... That is that, that is literally that ain't a winter wonderland. That's a winter hellscape. Yeah. Like look at the sharp edges on all that. Oh my god. Oh, how do you prepare a home to not be completely it's destroyed? Jack Frost's shack. Or like Jack Frost shat all over it. Yeah. Played by something like this. Does, does this ice not damage the sh out of the home? My husband ordered a used laptop and it arrived completely packed by little paper cranes. Oh, well, I huh. feel like that's a little more sustainable than a box full of packing peanuts, but I do wonder, as packing material, how effective are the cranes? We found how freaking neighboring... long did that take to do, too? Guarantee it's probably an automated thing that, like, folds them, 
It's like that's impressive that they have an automated machine that can make this. Houses with the same colors as our jackets. Well, that's just kind of cool. Where in the world are you? I'm trying to pinpoint that architecture, and I just is that Denmark? Can't. Clearly European, but anyway, I drew <coughs> copy outlines for my class to cut out. They look like they overlap, but they don't. They don't? Oh my God, it's tripping me. Oh wow, I get. It. Yeah, it's the it's the edges. Mm. Yeah, that's amazing. Wow. You created a pretty cool little optical illusion there. My yeah. like grandpa has a case for his sauces. That's because your grandfather is a man of culture, <laughs> of true ingenuity. <laughs> Look at all he's got in there. Hold on. He's got he's got KFC honey sauce. He's got wow. He he's got the Pizza Hut red pepper and the cheese. Yeah, gourmet yeah. cheese sauce. Horse yeah, horsey sauce. Nutella, KFC summertime barbecue sauce. Dude, he's got a good confection. The thing is, it looks here. so pleasing right now, but the second you use some of it and like run out of a thing of it, it's going to have a hole in it. It's he's even got like, jam uh, in there, dude. He's even got Smucker's grape jam yep. and apple butter. Is a man of culture, of true ingenuity. <laughs> the man loves his sauces. What are you going to do about it? Local Mexican restaurant used to be a Chinese. real man of genius. They put sombreros on the pandas. Restaurant. Yes. Instead of painting over the mural, they just put sombreros on the pandas. That's actually awesome, though. That is awesome. <laughs> and they gave him a little mustache and a little mariachi, a little mariachi guitar. Mm -hmm. Like, that's so cool. I would, I'd get a giggle out of that. Come on, that's adorable. The Korean taco place we got takeout from gave us a roll of toilet paper with our meal. <laughs> Wonder if it's cheaper than napkins. <laughs> I can't imagine that it is. There's no way, right? I have partial heterochromia in both eyes. Ooh, what are the- Whoa! That's cool. It's, it's like your eyes, it's like your eyes on this side took the bottom part of this one and the top- part of this they it's like if you literally swap the bottom sides for the top sides they would like they would match that is amazing the odds of that especially considering the garbage can they seem to be flip-flopped they're opposites that is super neat, though. Our cat Mia rests her front paws on her tail to keep them off a cold surface. Well, isn't that just Yo. the cutest thing <laughs> I've seen today? <laughs> this bee photobombed my picture and ended up in perfect focus. Oh my god. Damn. <laughs> That's actually a really good picture. Also, yeah, after CGP Grey pointed out, like, how stupid like a lot of state flags are mm -hmm. that's i'm sorry state flags y'all need to do something about your state flags most of them are garbage also that be is like we are here to drink your beer <laughs> including my own home state virginia you know how hard it is to get focused that good on anything, even with autofocus? This pet shop don't sell bunnies at Easter. Good, yeah, absolutely good. Owning rabbits can be very rewarding and enjoyable. It's also a long-term commitment that you need to make sure you're ready for. Yeah, that's completely fair, and I'm totally with them on that one, man. It's kind of like most shelters will not allow you to adopt a black cat during the Halloween season. And it's for good reason, because there are a lot yeah. of psychopaths out there that want to hurt them because they actually have f***ed up beliefs about how black cats are evil, demonic creatures. Yeah, no, screw all that sh It's disgusting. We have a black cat here, and he's the sweetest creature in the house. Yes. He's also super soft. He also has the cutest meow. Mm-hmm. Also, yes, animals are a commitment. You don't get one for just the season and then get rid of it. That's messed up, dude. Yeah. Just don't do that. Ken Jung was a physician at the hospital I work at. Was? Oh, yeah. There <laughs> we go. Was. I forgot he doesn't really practice medicine anymore. At least I don't think he does. But, hey, I figure if you're already a physician, a medical doctor, if you will, that would probably be the best time to try out your dream of acting or whatever like he did. <laughs> because, hey, <laughs> once his 15 minutes was up or is up and he's just not getting to the same level as he was before, he's still a doctor. Yeah, yeah. he has a good fallback good plan. <laughs> Much like Dolph Lundgren. Dolph Lundgren, same thing. 
The guy has a, a doctor's degree, and whenever he's done with acting, he can just be like, all right, I'm going to dedicate the later part of my life to uh, to the field that I studied. Here Imagine we go. going in for a surgery and Dolph Lundgren's doing surgery. <laughs> I don't think he's a medical doctor. I yeah, think he's a doctor not. of a... I forget what he I is. I think he's like some of. sort of scientist. Like, yeah, I think so. If I'm not mistaken. Hold on. No, is I'm it curious. like a physics thing or something like that? Let, let's is? check and see. Dolph, Lund Dolph Lundgren, doctor's degree. Is Dolph Lundgren a doctor? Master's in chemical engineering at the University of Sydney. Yeah, I don't think he actually has a doctorate, but I think he has a master's. Huh. Yeah, he only has a master's. Okay. So I thought he, I thought he had a, uh, I thought he had one that was uh, like a doctor's degree. Also, he's been battling cancer for eight years. I did not know that. Mm. Well, I didn't know that either. Get well soon, Dolph Lundgren. I hope he beats it. I do too. Back on the review this pub put on the wall. The pub specializes in craft beer. Oh boy, it's a one-star review too. That's how you know it's good. Looked okay from the outside. Too many local unknown beers to choose from. Once inside though, no Stella Cronenberg, etc., or any popular beer. We stayed for one pint and left to a proper pub. No, shut up. That's that. Bit of a hippie slash trendy crowd, too, which wasn't impressive. Also, a barman, far too enthusiastic and excited about the selection of beers. Yet, yeah, okay, you want a you wanna proper global beer? Go to a fucking food city. Go to a, or, I'm sorry, wherever, whatever local grocery store you've got. Go there and have a ball. You know, get all the global beers you want. Dude, some of the best beers, best alcohol, like, I'm not a beer drinker, but some of the best alcohol that I've consumed have come from craft beers from local distilleries. Specifically, ones that do, like, bourbon barrels and stuff like that. Love those. Those are my favorites. But anyway, yeah. That's the best endorsement you could have given a place that specializes in non-garbage. Not that beer isn't garbage, it's all terrible, I'm so it is. As a guy that likes beer, it's all freaking gross. But hey, artisanal stuff is fun. This toothpaste describes what each of its ingredients is and its purpose. I feel like <coughs> we should require that for all sorts of things. Agree. Oh, ingredients. Sodium lauroil sarcosinate? That's a hell of a thing. Sodium lauroil sarcosinate, yeah. <coughs> sustainable palm oil. Okay, I really hope you can prove the sustainable palm oil bit, because I don't buy anything that has palm oil in it. <laughs> or I try. It's in everything, okay? You know how upset I got? After I made my last video over on my own channel, finding out that palm oil is used in Oreos? Like, why? I saw four generations of Honda Civics in order of age, all in white. They knew what they were doing. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. 2020, 2010s, 2000s, 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 
to Simon and Garfunkel. But it's good that that, that they, he gives options. Absolutely. Or the, <clears throat> the me ride. I tell you about me. The political ride. Just kidding. You have yours, I have mine. I can't change your mind, and you can't change mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, your picture taken. A course in photography has given me a solid foundation for snapping good pictures. Seems like he really likes the gig. I appreciate Uber drivers that just seem to enjoy what they do. Bathroom at my Agreed. dentist has a picture of the bathroom at my dentist hanging on the wall. Huh. They must be proud of how clean and nice... <laughs> <laughs> That's and, and hilarious. The, the photo of the bathroom is in the photo of the bathroom every time too. Yeah, and it keeps going. It's how? An how loop. did they do that? It's an infinite loop. How? I don't know. Yes, it is. I have a hereditary <laughs> gap in my eyebrow. Oh, it's one of those. Oh. Yeah, it's a birthmark. Hmm. Basically. Uh, it's the same thing a, a friend of mine has. Uh, he has a... He's a very hairy person. He's got a lot of hair on, like, his shoulders and his back. All except for one place where his birthmark is. There's no hair there. And it's in the shape of, like, a... It's like a shape like this. It's, like, almost like a... It's almost like a, a broken J or, like, a like an L or something. And it is... It, it's very weird. Mildly interesting. Yes. <laughs> okay. I always wondered that about that cool little though. eyebrow. Yeah. Look at this dapper son of a bitch. Nice stash, bro. Our gap. I always assumed it was a scar if I ever saw it. Guess that's not the case. My dog destroyed her toy cactus, and there was another sad cactus inside. <laughs> that is how you design <laughs> a fun dog. Oh. Toy because they know it's going to be destroyed. It's kind of the point. My friend met a stranger at a wedding that looked just like him and was wearing the same thing. But that's awesome, though. You, which one's your friend? <laughs> yeah. The taller one or the shorter one? I am a little curious there. The golf balls at the mini golf on this pier are biodegradable and fall into the sea at the 18th hole. Okay, well, I don't. Oh, it's okay. You kind of got me a little annoyed there. Yeah, your golf ball is fish food. Yeah. For just a second because biodegradable is a little bit different than fish food. Food that feeds the fishes. That's totally fine. That means it's not just going to biodegrade. The fish there are going to eat it. Yeah. Because uh, I was assuming that, yeah, our balls are 100% biodegradable, and we chuck them in the ocean by the thousands every day just to prove it, which would have been stupid. But I'm glad that that detail was shown. This window that makes my backyard look like it's in four different seasons. Again, that's fantastic. How? Oh, damn. How the hell? I know that that was an evergreen, so yeah, it makes sense. But the rest of, like, damn. I mean, there are some trees that turn red faster than others. Yeah, plus, I can see that it's real because the red from this tree is spilling over into this frame here. And vice versa. This tree is, like, a little bit, like, right there. But Damn. Also, a little hint of this tree is right there, so that's really cool, though. That's yeah. really freaking cool. I know it's not the window that's making it look like that. It's the perfect evolution of the trees outside that's making it look like that. The window's just helping to frame it. I like to make little drawings of people that I see. See, now this is a thousand times better than those freaks that take photographs of people without their consent and post it on social media saying weird shit about them. Yeah, even if it's a compliment, don't do that. But this, this is adorable. I like this, and your art style is stupid cute. My local <laughs> supermarket is selling airplane food because nobody is flying. Nobody's flying. Taste of thin air, really? Oh, God, <laughs> that does not bode well for me because I'm traveling back to Finland in the summer um, so I can actually experience, experience, excuse me, more of the country. So I really, really, really hope that thin air is not going to charge me ten times the amount of money to go back again. I would be very upset and sad if they did. Oh, please say this does. <laughs> oh, please. My bank sent me 64 copies of the same debit card. Maybe you should contact them and tell them the to fuck? chill out. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I think your system has a bug in it. Dude, after the <laughs> second or third one, I'd have just been like, yo, yo, you've sent me the same debit card now for the last, like, like, what, 64 times? I'd probably let it get to five, and I'd be like, okay, clearly they're not going to stop. <laughs> 
Uh, I built the $800 Lego Millennium Falcon set out of parts I already had. You know, I kind of really wish that you had the official set next Damn. to this one so we could see. Now all you got to do is just spray paint the whole thing the same color. Solid gray, silvery, whatever the fuck. Is it white? I don't know. I've been to Disneyland, but okay, I've been hundreds of times, but the last time I went, I saw the Millennium Falcon in person and being colorblind, is it gray? Is it just gray? Yes, it's gray. Because <clears throat> I don't know, there are some shots where it did not look very gray in the original footage because we watched the 4K77 restoration project instead of the fuck. My friend's cat got yeah, shaved. It has like some rusty brown spots on it. Yeah. It's gray for the most part. Yeah, it's not the most impressive looking thing. But that's the point. Yeah, it's supposed to be a scrap bucket. Yeah. I mean, Luke, upon first seeing it, literally says, what a piece of junk. Yeah, it's an impressive scrap bucket, but it's still a scrap bucket. And now she looks like a game of exquisite corpse. What does that mean? I mean, yeah, the cat looks silly. Oh. What is that? Was at the beach and found a shell with barnacles on it that makes it look like an anatomically correct heart. Okay, that is kind of freaky. Yeah. That is. Oh, that is creepy. That's like some Call of Cthulhu shit. Yeah, it's like you found uh, Davy Jones' heart. Yeah, I got a jar of dirt. Yeah, I got like a jar of dirt. I got a jar of dirt, man. That that'd be a perfect art piece. Like you have the jar of dirt, and then in the middle of the jar of dirt, you have like a a hollowed out sphere for that's like clear, ultra clear glass, and in the middle of it is that heart with a red light behind it. That'd be perfect. Yeah. Be like, what's in that jar of dirt? Take a look for yourself. <laughs> My God, it's the heart of Davy Jones. <laughs> Super uncanny, right? My 100% complete collection of every Lego shield ever made. Lego shield. Oh, Whoa. those. That's wow. Cool. My dude, you like you are a primo collector. Like, look at that. You got three variations of Captain America. You got the Hercules shield, Wonder Woman. You've got wow. You got the Mercedes Benz. You got wow! Some big Viking shields up there. Yeah. And some smaller Viking shields. Yeah. You've got knight shields. You've got the Wakandan shields. Very nice, dude. Scarab shields. Hell yeah! I'm thoroughly impressed by Lego collection pieces. Oh, and also Justice League. Those ones. Okay. These are the types of collections I'm always super envious of because I'd never think of something like that. Also, how do you hunt down items this niche? Mm -hmm. What the hell do you look up on eBay to find a singular Lego minifig shield or a specific one I think that you're you actually from your take collection? the time as a hobby to go through the entire list of every Lego set ever made to find out which ones do and don't have shields. Well, on. basically you can also, there is a gigantic book of Lego out there that basically has a huge catalog of every piece that has ever been made in terms of like their size, their variation, stuff like that. And they have an index to where you can look up like shield piece or sword piece or anything like that. And the, each individual piece is, is literally there for you to see and you can check them off. It's like, okay, I've got that one, got that one, I don't have that one, got that one, that one. And basically you just go through it and you figure out, okay, which ones do I need, which ones do I not need? And there you go. This is rad as hell, I love it. My college used to be a shopping mall. Honestly, that's really cool. Yeah. I've always wondered about shopping malls. When it's finally time for them to be sold off because no one is shopping there anymore, what do you do with it? Our local one turned into a <laughs> casino. Yeah, they're... They're working on it, but it's it's very slowly being turned into a fairly high-end casino. The biggest thing I could think of was there's got to be a way to retrofit these guys for residences. You know, homeless, large, large homeless shelters. The sizes of malls are just insane, so you should be able to make it pretty comfy, okay? You should but be able college? to. Never once even thought about that, but that's really, really neat, actually. This tree grew over the sign, but under the paint. Huh, I wonder how the hell that happened. Oh. TV light simulator. Wait, what? Oh, that's adorable. How clever. Make your neighbors think that you're completely insane. Or <laughs> ward off neighbors. 
or, or ward off thieves. Yeah. Because they'll see that. They'll be like, oh, shit, someone's home. Yeah, let's That's not break exactly into that That's exactly what house. it was for. <laughs> Man, they've been watching that TV for like eight months straight. Do you think they're alive? That is actually a really cool idea, though. I, I, I have to say, the one thing that's strange about it is <laughs> simulate the light of a real 27-inch HD TV. My monitors at my computer are 27 inches. That's such a specifically yeah. small size. The guy who does the grass for my building left a rectangle of wildflowers so the bee can use them. Well. It's because he knows <laughs> that you can't exterminate everything. Come on, that's smart. That's very, very smart. I hope you don't get rid of it because without... I love the one lone, like, dandelion in the middle of it. Yeah, <laughs> the one poofy ball. Yeah. The rest of it's like, yeah, the buttercups. Uh, I forget what those are called. The ones, the, like, the white. Uh, the ones, like, all the... I, I can't remember the name. I don't know if I ever knew what those were called. Yeah. Without bees, we're dead. I bought some suspiciously perfect bananas yesterday. Hmm, those don't mm. look real. No, those look made GMO. Of That's GMO as made fuck. Of plastic. Yeah. Real. The furniture hardware is sorted by step rather than by type. Okay. Oh, thank you. So oh. much smarter than other places yeah. I've seen do this exact thing. Wow. God, why doesn't everyone do this? And look, marked spare parts, so I'm not going to be confused about having extra. Yeah. Because that happens every time. Yeah. Like, why do I have extra <coughs> pieces? Did I screw something up? <coughs> Without barriers, the British still know how to queue. <laughs> Honestly, why is that such... That is such a British thing. That is such a British thing. I don't... How? Such a funny calling card. Why is it great that you guys know how to line up perfectly every time? Meanwhile, the last Comic-Con I went to, people had no freaking clue how to do the simplest line. So easy. Without a bunch of stanchions and rope, people have no idea what to do over here. And we have the Disney parks. Yeah. Those parks are 80% lines, and we still don't know how to do it. This tree looks like straight-up broccoli. Oh my god, that is way more broccoli-like. Damn it, Dimple. Vine tree. Yeah. Damn it, Dimple. Stop, put, stop making large batches of broccoli. ...than I was expecting. The sun shining through my fish tank aligned perfectly on each knob. Oh, holy shit, though. Whoa. <laughs> Some of these are way, way more than mildly interesting. My yeah. broken antenna on my car looks like a half-sunken boat. <laughs> I have seen this one before, and it's yeah, so wow. true. I love that comparison. Nappies in Sweden have a father on the packaging. Aha, because, you know, fathers are supposed to be there, too. It's not 1953 anymore. Dad's not gone all day so that he can come home and yell at everybody. Dad should be doing stuff like this. And the amount of mofos out there online that say that it's really creepy and weird that the dad has the baby on his bare chest. Like, no, nah, it's pretty freaking normal, okay? Shows what you know about being a good parent. Oh, nothing. My Australian tax return shows where my money went. Ah, yes. Something that makes sense. Yeah. I like that. I like that a lot. Also, you notice how they're spending most of theirs on welfare and health care and not as much on defense, which I got to be honest, we need to cut back our defense spending as well. We need to stop trying to police the world. We need to stop trying to make make everyone else's problems our problems. And we need well, to fix the, the bullshit that is the United States healthcare system. After some education I did for myself today on North Korea, uh, there may be situations we don't fully understand as to why we're in certain situations that we're in. Because the reason we have troops in South Korea where we have them is pretty much because North if, Korea. if we remove those troops, South Korea will become North Korea. Well, that's my like, thing is like in certain places. Now, I'm not saying remove them from North, like South Korea. Yeah, I mean, there's other the places, we, but it's but, like, I okay. mean, there may be reasons we okay. don't realize why they're in other places. But right number now. one, why the fuck do we have, I think it's like 30,000 troops in Australia. Why do we have over 150,000 troops stationed in Europe? Why do we have all of them in these places that clearly don't need our help? Why are we there? Why are we there? Europe's most likely so that we have troops nearby if Russia pulls some shit that we aren't going to settle for anymore. But the thing is, like the Polish and the the Polish and the um, Ukrainians seem to be doing more than good enough on their own. 
with you know our equipment that we're giving them. I mean, they don't really need us over there. Well, I mean, we're not going to ever help the Ukrainians in person due to them not being part of NATO, though. But that's well, a whole different topic. But like, I'm but just we're, saying, oh, like, we're today I learned though. some stuff that I didn't oh, know. Oh, we're helping like, them, though, ah. by sending them weapons, by yeah. giving them all the weapons and toys of war. There was just a lot of things I've heard people say about the North <clears throat> Korea situation. Why don't we just do this? Why don't we just do that? And there was a whole video explaining the answer to all of those questions. Well, no, and I get, and I get the it's Korea like a situation. It's like complete 100% stalemate deadlock situation. I know, I know the Korea involved. situation is yeah. 100% why... We still have to be there, but my thing is, that's one place. Whereas Australia, all these other countries that have American like military presences there, where we don't need to be, where these countries are more than capable of taking care of themselves, and not only that, we save a shit ton of money on defense just by bringing them home. I think it's like $1.2 trillion a year just for that, and then not only that, But then we can also make a dent in our deficit by selling the equipment that's over there. Instead of hauling it all back here, we sell it to the people who we wish to help, our allies. We sell the stuff to them wholesale. Boom. That's another huge amount of money that we can get to basically eliminate our deficit. And that's always been my my thing is that we need to balance the budget before our country literally falls, falls apart. I mean... I'm all for taking care of people when they need it, and I'm all for like like stepping in whenever we need to, but us putting our noses in a lot of places is not necessary. That's just always been my thing. Anyway. Uh, it's just after today, I don't know. Like, well, no, the Korea situation, that's 100%. I, I don't think we'll ever 100% I be just, out of Korea. I want to know if there are reasons for the other places, too, you know? Like that we might not there, realize. There doesn't seem to be because Europe, Europe, like that right now, the European Union is doing everything they can to build up their own military, like their own military stuff. Like they're actually allocating funds towards defense now. And I'm just like, okay, why are we still there? That, that's, that's it. That's all I got. And Japan, same way. Japan, like the, their, their own like, uh, their own like homeland defense stuff, like they buy a bunch of stuff from us, and they're really good in their own right. So I don't know. There's just there's just stuff that I really think that we need to look into, and like how to save, and how to save money, and how to like help benefit our allies, but at the same time make sure we don't collapse in the in the meantime. Anyway, sorry. unfortunately, our government's never going to do that. So. Sad but true. Like, look at look at that giant chunk for defense. Good Lord. Okay, I do like seeing that the majority of it has gone towards welfare for those that absolutely need it. The unemployed, families, the aged. And look at how much of that. They realize that this is necessary. Like, I don't know. It's really great being able to see a breakdown. Uh, maybe if you're a b- about it over here in the U.S., you can see something like this. Maybe not. Uh, <laughs> I have to deal a lot with the IRS, and mm, they like to hide stuff. Sure, a lot of companies like to make sure that they hide stuff, but yeah, mm, super cool. Fuel and energy, 40 bucks. Well, thank God you're keeping that industry alive. My hotel phone in Iceland has a special button that will wake you up if there are northern lights in the sky. That's awesome. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't want to be woken up to see the Northern Lights? This hexagonal, hexagonal, he, he, whatever, hexagonal. graph paper for organic chemistry. That is really cool, yeah. though. I mean, come on. It's a very, very specific need, but it's a need you'll probably need. Hexagons yeah, I mean. are the best of guns. Or have. No. Sorry, I, that CGP Grey video still cracks me up. How he's, like, trying to, like, te- you know, preach, like, how hexagons are like the superior shape of the universe. It's like, well, look no further than than the bonds of uh, than the chem- than the chemistry bonds of all of these uh, chemicals. Mm-hmm. Nonetheless, my grandma's titanium hip after the cremation. Well, time to recycle it. Oh, <laughs> I, I am curious, damn. you know. Oh, what do you what do you do with this? Do you actually have it recycled so it can be reused in somebody else's body or? Uh, put, uh, make the urn out of it. 
or in a phone or computer? Like, what in the world do you do with this? Or do you keep it? Do you keep grandma's hip, much like you would keep the ashes? Japanese government sends individuals quarantining at home <coughs> free care packages. Shown is for one person, me, in Tokyo. Ah, uh, yes, I do remember. Whoa. That's a good haul. Yeah. In countries that gave a f about its citizens, sending them things that helped them survive when they weren't allowed to leave their homes. That sure would have been cool. And no, I don't count the single goddamn $1,400 payment as really helpful. Yeah, that should carry you for several months. What? My local library has a library of things for residents to borrow useful household items like toolkits and power washers. Shout out to libraries across the globe for being. Probably the best things ever. Just the best things, straight up. You know there are people out there that work in all of our governments collectively that would do everything they can to get rid of libraries entirely. Could they wait the money? But they're the most useful fucking things we have in society. Especially the ones that do stuff like this. I can see that. But, I don't know. Uh, there are ways for libraries to be, to be updated and made to where it's just like... Yeah, you can... I, I think it should be a public service. I think it should be like... Well, it is sort of kind of a public service, but at the same time, it's just... it. I don't know. There's just things that they can do to update it to make it more effective for, uh, for like, the modern day. Anyway. I don't know. Put a poker stop in there or something. They take any extra budget they may have and do something incredibly practical that makes sense. Also, libraries are probably one of the last places in the world that you're not expected to pay money to be in. Really relieves that pressure. <laughs> My airplane bathroom had a window in it. See, why can't I ever be on a cool plane? <laughs> I've never been on a neat one before, ever. A list of American amendments that were never approved. Oh, this is going to be great, isn't it? 1876. An attempt to abolish the United States Senate. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I can believe it. <laughs> All right. The forbidding of religious leaders from occupying a governmental office or receiving federal funding. That one didn't pass? An executive council of three to replace the office of president. This was right after the Civil War, too. This was, this was the rebuilding of the United States, and there were a lot of <coughs> shitty, shitty amendments that were brought up to Congress that didn't pass. I do wonder how that one would work. I mean, clearly, it would have to be at least a little better than one dude, right? Renaming this nation the United States of the Earth. Okay, that would... That one. would be extremely, like... That's... Vain. Yes. <laughs> yes. Shut the hell up with that one. Abolishing the Army and Navy. Yeah, there was no way they were going to let that no. one happen. Acknowledging that the Constitution recognized God and Jesus Christ as the supreme authorities in human affairs. Okay, as though a religious person that I am, no. Unfortunately, that is not fair to make that the concrete 100% thing in government because... Not everyone out there acknowledges God and Jesus Christ as anything. I, I, that's not fair to assume that. Now, for me, I can acknowledge that on an individual level, on a personal level, but by no means should I expect everyone else and forcing everyone else to believe that is absolute. Like, no, that's a religious oligarchy, and I don't like it. Mm. Well, that goes super against <clears throat> separation of church and state. And boy, oh boy, am I glad that one didn't make it. Making marriage between races illegal. Oh, okay. yeah. Oh, boy. It's fucked up. It is fucked up. Also, the one drop rule that that basically makes it to... Uh, did you hear about the case? Uh, Newton Knight was a... Was a uh, he was a Confederate soldier that rebelled against the Confederacy, and basically with a bunch of freed slaves, he took over a county in, uh, in uh, basically called it the Free State of Jones, and he married a black woman and had a bunch of kids with her, and years and years and years later, 
uh, his uh, grand his great great grandson was going to marry a woman, but under the one drop rule of <clears throat> of the uh, of I think it was the one drop rule of the state that he was in at the time, basically where he had one drop of black blood in his veins, he therefore counted as black, and he could he was a bot he was forbade from marrying the woman that he loved. That's fucked up too. Yeah. There's been some like here's the thing. The law is not everyone who always says it's oh it's what the law says it's what it's like, just because the law says it doesn't mean that it's right. Mm-hmm. Look, it's said that for the longest time it's been said that cannabis is wrong. When cannabis is more helpful than alcohol but yet alcohol is perfectly legal. I, it's just, you know, it's like, oh, it's, oh, it's what the law says. A uh, hundred years ago, I could beat you to death with a mop handle. It's a hundred percent because there are certain pharmaceutical companies that would lose money if it became the primary treatment for certain illnesses. Yes. And there are also... That's the only reason why. Then there's also the fact that it's way easy to make yourself at home grow yourself at home compared to like making alcohol and stuff that anybody can pretty much plant it and have it grow yeah so they feel like they can't tax all of it also another thing too was uh the worry that the cotton industry had against hemp because of how easy hemp was to cultivate and grow and all that do you know that there's actually a stupid law that even for states where it's fully illegal to have cannabis, that it's still the law that you're supposed to have paid taxes and have a tax stamp on your illegal cannabis? Yep. It's, it's absolutely insane. The most it's insane shit I've ever heard. It is literal fucking insanity. Okay, finding divorce to be illegal. Jesus H, man, what is Okay. Who let who turned the Catholics loose in Congress? Divorce being illegal. You see, I I have friends who are Catholic, and going in to visit his family and everything, and it's like, oh, wow, your parents have been together for so long, and this and that. And he's like, I just wish they'd get divorced. You're like, what? And he's like, he's like, I wish they'd get divorced, but they won't because they think it's a sin. And because according to the Catholic Church, you know, it's divorces are not are not good. And I don't get it. I, I just don't get it. Man, the amount of murders, domestic murders, are gonna, they're going to skyrocket if that one had gone through. All acts of war should be put to a national vote. Anyone voting yes had to register as a volunteer for service. Okay, I feel like that one has been talked about for a long time. Yes. I've heard that proposed by random people on the... Yes, that one has been talked about a long, long time. That one's one of the... That one's... God, dude, I remember when that one first came up. Whenever I was uh, whenever I was about to come out of high school, when I first heard that mentioned, I was like, um, okay. I know why that didn't pass, though. Is because of the uh, vo- the automatic registration as a volunteer uh, for service. No, it's not just that. Like that that's like the least suspect part of it. It's the fact that there are certain instances where if we weren't to act in an act of war against somebody like it could be very bad for us very true and leaving that up to the citizens is not always the best move but would it be a better idea to have the citizens be like yeah we should not be in this war because it's having a bad toll on us as the citizens yeah like you should have a vote like that to be like we should pull out of this or something but I don't know yeah it's, it's hard to see because, like, we as citizens don't really understand military strategy. Not from really. From the perspective of the ones in charge of it. On the internet, but I wasn't aware that it was something we actually brought up at one point. It makes enough sense to me. If you want us to go to war and you want to send the armed forces to battle somewhere, you, you have should to have go to go with, with them. them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> them if you can that seems fair enough right i'm sure there's some nuance there i'm missing but i'm not seeing any extra context here so i can't really go by that an attempt to limit personal wealth to a million yeah by 1933 no freaking shot if you had tried that in like 
1802? Maybe. An attempt to allow the American people to vote on whether or not the United States should go to war. Really? They wouldn't even let us vote on that? The, the, shit. the forbidding of drunkenness in the United States and all of its territories. Yeah, yeah basically the reattempt at uh, at institute re instituting the Volstead Act. I don't know if you remember, like the prohibition. You know, no one was allowed <laughs> to drink. Alcohol was illegal. Well, forbidding of drunkenness in the United States basically makes to where you can't drink, uh, you can't consume alcohol. It's just, ugh. Yeah, no shot. The income tax maximum for an individual should not exceed 25%. Look, if you're worth $200 billion, I think it should exceed it by a lot. But, you know, they're kind of rare. The right of citizens to segregate themselves from others. I feel like citizens have the right to do that on their own anyway, but individually, I guess. Yeah. You wanna segregate and be fucking weird, go for it. Who gives a shit? I'm not you, but uh, I don't know. American citizens should have the alienable right to an environment free of pollution. Wow. Yeah, you could tell that one was from 1971. Yeah. You could absolutely tell. Just a few years before the World's Fair in Spokane, Washington in 1974, which was all about economic growth and environmental stability and cleanliness and all that fun shit. <laughs> Pathetic. Pathetic that we don't have the right to an environment that's not goddamn disgusting because the richest people in the world want to keep destroying it. Our refrigerator has revolving levels so you can reach everything easily. That's awesome. Where can I buy a cylindrical fridge in the year 2023? Because that's cool as yeah. shit. Also, what you have <laughs> kind of wish ours rare... was like that. Same, dude. Item, if it ever breaks, pay anything to fix it. I'm not even kidding. That is so cool. I don't even care about the efficiency. You know what? You can have a guy make it efficient for you. Just please don't get rid of it. That's such a thing from a bygone era, man. Our electrician left all of the screws in a vertical position in our new kitchen. Oh, no, it's not OCD. They're just particular and they like a clean particular look. I don't know why I said particular twice now. I've said it three times. Okay, I gotta go. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll be damned. Those are some mildly interesting things. I will give it that. Very mildly interesting. Some of them much more than mildly interesting. Some of them very, very interesting. What is up with the microscopic Nerf gun? Oh yeah, that's Mark Rober. Huh. It's never what it it's never what it seems to be, dude. It's always he, he plays it up sometimes a little bit, but I don't know. Anyway, yeah, so that was that was a good video. I'm glad we watched that. And uh, we hope that you all enjoyed as well. But for right now, we're going to end it here. So this was r slash mildly interesting. Wow, how does this happen? By MK. If you want to see more from MK, click their name in the title of the video. And until next time, I'm Nate. I'm Nick. Y'all be good people. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.